this is a quick video to just show how to repair one of these all-in-one coolers. At the moment, if I switch this on, I've got it hooked up to a 12 volt power supply, but you could um, hot wire your PC power supply so you can like run it outside of the uh, outside of the PC. But if I switch this on now, bring that closer. So actually. You can hear this thing buzzing away because it's got air bubbles in it. And obviously if I shake this, it will, uh, you can hear there's air bubbles in there. So, I, would, I think the best way to try and repair one of these, let me cut through the pipe here, and then and basically what I'm going to do is uh, create a bath, get both ends of this into it, and then switch this pump on. And that way we should be able to bleed out any air bubbles that's in the system. And then <clears throat> once I've done that, is it? what I've got here is a hard piece of like plastic hosing. Um, and basically I'm going to use this to insert where I've cut it and then push both ends back together. So the inner diameter on this is probably a little bit smaller than what we've got. You can see like nothing's even leaked out of this top hose here. A couple drops, it's pretty much dry. Um, so yeah, you can plainly see there's an air bubble. So now what I've got to do here is uh, I'll fill up this basin, or bowl if you like. At this point I realised there was something blocking the hose because the water pressure was just trickling out and so I had to take the whole pump apart to actually find out what was wrong with it. The inside of that radiator had corroded and so um, it had actually inside this water block on the other side there's loads of little fins and there's like a funnel that pushes it in and then over the fins out and back into the return and the corroded parts of the copper from this water block had basically made their way down to the input and just blocked the inlet. So yeah, after a bit of uh, take the whole thing apart and uh, clean it out, now that water's coming up there, it's constantly looped there. The, the trick is to get both of these submerged and then push it together under the water. That way, we should seal it up again without taking in any air bubbles. And as you can see, uh, I just pushed these over the top, but that's not going to leak. And if you if you get real close to it, you can hear the pump. But you know, sounds much better. No air bubbles left in that thing. So if you like that video, or it helped you out, you found it interesting. Um, I'm going to be making more videos on a regular basis now starting 2018 so every sort of two to four weeks I'm going to aim to have a new video put up so if you find this kind of stuff interesting you into it most of my videos are either well mainly about computers but and also to do with Audi and VW is what I did for my main job so 
I've got a load of tips and tricks for those type of cars just because I know them inside and out. But I'll be posting up a whole bunch of videos coming through the new year. So if you like the channel or you're interested in that type of stuff, uh, you can click the like and subscribe button if you like. And I will aim to put something useful up.